Seems as if you broke the house, Mr. Reno. Pretty good for a newcomer. I, uh, I just hope you'll give me a little time to pay. Uh -uh. I don't work that way, Evan. No. Don't tell me you haven't the money to pay your losses. Yes, I kind of lost my head playing like this. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. You played to win. You won, then you lost. When you lose, you gotta pay up. I could uh, do something uh, maybe in a month. Now, what do you say we go in your office and have a little talk, huh? What do you say? Ain't seen a man so lucky in years. You haven't seen a lot of things in years, have you, Sheriff? I ain't drunk, mister. I've been sheriff in this town a long time, and I ain't ever been drunk since I've been wearing this badge. I didn't have one on me. Like I said, I, I don't exactly have the money at hand to pay you off, Mr. Reno. I didn't think you would. I like your place, though. So, I brought along a little bill of sale. Of course, you really owe me more than this place is worth. So I guess you bought yourself a partner. Sign here. But I, I've never had no partner before. You have now. Kirby! I just don't know what to say. You never do. If I was your partner, I'd know what to say. That's impossible. Well, I guess I've got a new boss. You pay good, Mr. Reno? Sure, Kirby. And write your own ticket. I think we ought to spruce this place up a little bit. Bring in some fancy women, get some fancy games going. We don't want any fancy women. We've got a good, decent town, and we're keeping it that way. <laughs> but you haven't made the most of it, Abbott. I'd say, well, I got that rear wall. Bring in a platform, hire a piano player. We'll need some music for the girls. I said you're not bringing in any girls, and I don't want you for a partner. <laughs> what are you going to do about it, Abbott? What the... Abbott! <laughs> 